What's up, YouTube? You know what time it is. It's my fan time, and uh, I have a, uh, a pickup vid, pretty special one, actually, for uh, for you, the viewer. And, and normally, when I do these pickup vids, I would I would film from the uh, living room, you know, as I was doing, and uh, I might still film in there from time to time. Um, but you know, the the problem that I found in there is the lighting wasn't the greatest, and I apologize about that. You know, it's all it's always going to be trial and error, you know, with these things. So um, I thought what I would do is kind of change it up again <laughs> and um, uh, make these videos from a room that has better lighting, hopefully, and that is right here in, in the fan cave that I have. So from now on, at least most of the time, I'll be making these videos uh, from the, uh, you know, from Mighty Fans Fan Cave in, in, instead of the living room, just for, just for lighting reasons now. There's a little more room in the living room, uh, to, to, to film, move around a little bit, so I might still film there from time to time, but I think I'll, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll see how it goes. I'll film in here, uh, for the next few pickup vids and see how it goes, and, you know, you guys let me know, too. I mean, you know, it's all about, you know, the replies, the responses, um, you know, feedback, and I know some people, you know, particularly when I showed that um, uh, Billy Sims, that custom Billy Sims that I got from Murph, uh, some, pe some people thought it looked like a Raiders jersey. And, you know, they thought it was like black lettering instead of, you know, blue. It, it was blue. I mean, it wasn't, it definitely wasn't done up like a Raiders jersey. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Live and learn, you know. And I'm not, I'm, I've been filming these videos on YouTube for a few years and I'm still not an expert at it. So, you know. I apologize about the lighting and you know different aspects. I, I don't I don't live in a studio, you know, so I can't <laughs> you know, I'm not like on uh you know the MLB network or NFL network or something like that and with the studios with the great lighting and all, so I, I do apologize about that. But I think it is a little better lighting in this room, so I'll I'll see what happens. And uh again, you know, you yeah, you know, you you uh, you know, trial and error, that's all these things are. But anyhow, Enough of me rambling on. Let's get right to the to the pickup. And I actually had this for over a week now, and I apologize I wasn't able to make a vid here. I did show it on the Facebook groups, so some of you probably already know what it's going to be. But before I, I get into that, uh, actually, yeah, I'll get right into it. It's, uh, um, it's the newest release by Mitchell Ness for the Michael Jordan uh, line that they've done for the jerseys. And here it is. It is the 1988-1989 circa away red. Now this is um, this is the uh, the um, a jersey in homage to the uh, to the last shot he made against the Cleveland Cavaliers in the playoffs series back then when he beat the Cavs. Shot over uh, Craig Elo, uh, making that game-winning shot, winning not only the game but the series. And I believe that was the first playoff series that the Bulls won when he was there. But if, if I'm not mistaken, but, uh, you know, that was a great moment for him and a great moment for the Bulls. And uh, obviously, you know, um, you know, stepping stone towards, you know, what they did years later. Um, but uh, it was a great moment for Jordan. And uh, so they made this jersey, which is basically the same exact jersey as the dunk jersey that a lot of you already have. Uh, it's that away red Bulls, you know, heat pressed, you know, single layer Jordan on the back. Um, you know, it is basically the same style jersey. Uh, the thing about this jersey that I like is A, I never had the dunk jersey. Um, so this is the first time that I'm getting this in this style from Mitchell and S. Um, but this this does kind of, to me, represents a, a few great moments for Jordan. I mean, it does represent that final shot against Cleveland in the playoffs, as this jersey was made to be. But it also, you know, represents the dunk contest because... It's the same style and everything that they were that year. It also represents the 63 points he had against Boston in the playoffs at the Garden, the old Boston Garden. Again, same style. Um, and it also represents the first championship he won with the Bulls because it was that away red they wore in, you know, L.A. at the, uh, the old Great Western Forum uh, to beat the Lakers. And, you know, he wore this, you know, obviously the Bulls wore these style jerseys then with the single layered names on the back. So, uh, you know, this, this kind of has a lot of, you know, this jersey not only represents the final shot, to me anyhow, to, to, against Cleveland, but it represents you know, quite a few great moments for Jordan over the years in his great career. So uh, that's another reason that I picked this up. 
Um, not only did I never have the Dunk one or really the only other Mitchell Ness that I own is, is this one, as you guys might might remember. It's the rookie year, um, 1984 jersey, and um, I got that at the store. I guess early, I guess in January of this year, and this one I picked up on NBA.com. I also had a coupon code that I was able to use, which was um, it pays all one word. It was a Discover code that still worked. So I got 20% off and free shipping. So I saved about 60 to 70 bucks on this jersey. So it's really good. Uh, though I still kick myself for not getting a couple of those uh, Jordan jerseys at the Mitchell Nest store those years ago when, when they were part of the 50% off sale and they never put them on sale again. And I just, every day I'm like, damn it, I could have gotten at least two of them <laughs> during that sale. But um, yeah, live and learn, right? So I'm going to try to make up for that by uh, having a goal of whenever Mitchell Ness drops a Jordan jersey, I'm going to pick it up, whether it's the, um, you know. It, it depends, though. If it's, like, the same exact one as this one, probably not, or, like, the rookie, probably not. But, you know, anything that's different, I think I'll, I'll try to grab, you know, just to kind of make up for lost time. <laughs> and Michael Jordan was my first favorite athlete, so. Uh, the, the one I want to still try to get is that 89 All-Star that they just put out this Valentine's Day. I didn't get it at that time. Funds were a little tight for me at the time. And, um, you know, I've been, you know, hoping to get it since. And, uh, you know, it's been tough because, you know, Jordan jerseys sell pretty quick, you know, <laughs> for Mitchell and Ness. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm still kind of looking for that one. So we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll grab that someday. But from here on forward, when they drop a jersey, you know, which they seem to drop like two a year, I'm going to see if I can grab it. You know, as long as it's a style that I don't already have, you know. To the specifics of the jersey. No real bells and whistles with it. It's your classic Michael Jordan jersey. It's the, uh, everything's heat pressed right on there to the front. It's got the Jerry West logo right there for the NBA. It's got a nice, uh, you know, jock tag right there, Michael Jordan, uh, 88, 89. This is also made in USA. The uh, rookie year was made in China. Very nice jersey still, you know, but it was, was made in China. This one was made in the USA. I believe the All-Star one they made this year was USA 2, correct me if I'm mistaken. I don't own that one, so I could be misspeaking there, but for sure I know this is made in USA, because it says, made in USA, <laughs> right there. <laughs> it also says it on the jock tag. Um, there is no real bells and whistles. I know for a time when Mitchell and Nessa put out a Jordan jersey, they would put like a, they did it for a little while with like a, like a, a card of him wearing the jersey. And they're not, you know, it's just your generic tagging. I still haven't taken the tags off, but there it is. In the back, you got the single uh, layered Jordan 23, um, all heat press. Now, I say single layered because that name on the back, um, the Bulls had their, you know, single layered name onto the back for a number of years, I think until 93. Then they went to the block, more block lettering with the shadow, or the uh, the double. It was like double stitched on the back. Um, you know, kind of had that black inside with the white outline going around it. Uh, so, but of course back then they just had the single, you know, white number, uh, letters for their name onto the back of the of the name, back of the jersey. And the 23, you know, the, the name basically would look like it, it does for the numbers. That's basically what, it, what I'm getting at. And they started that in 1993 uh, when they won their third title in a row. First of their two, th two three-peats. Um, so there's the back. The material is really nice. I mean, I, I, you know, it's a nice feel to it. It's a really, you know, solid jersey all around in my opinion. I mean, it is your, you know, you know. Basic Michael Jordan jersey from you know the time period, but the material is pretty good. Like I said, it's a Man USA run. It uh, fits pretty good. This is a size 52. It fits really good on me. And the rookie one's a 52. It fits really good on me too. Which is you know I know some you know so there's always that talk about the Made in China jerseys. They run a little snugger. You know you want to get a size bigger. Um, these two fit good for me in their 52s. I mean I'm five foot nine. You know about 200 pounds and they fit good on me. So. Um, you know, to your discretion, which size you want to get, but, uh, you know, so yeah, 1988-89 Michael Jordan 
uh, the last shot jersey against the Cleveland Cavaliers in the playoffs. Yes, one of the many uh, disappointments for Cleveland sports fans, I know. But uh, <laughs> as a Philadelphia sports fan, I, I feel their pain in a lot of respects. Uh, I did have 2008, but besides that, it's been a lot of doom and gloom. But, <laughs> you know, what can you do? Um, so, yeah, Michael Jordan, the newer, newest Mitchell and Ness jersey. Uh, they dropped this a couple weeks ago, and I picked it up, like I said, on NBA.com. Shop. Got 20% off, made it even better. <laughs> so, anyhow, that, that does it for this. I uh, hope you you guys enjoyed the video. I hope, hope the lighting's better in here. I think it is. I mean, just looking at the screen, it does look better. But, um, like I said, always, always trying to, you know, get better <laughs> at this stuff. But, um, as always, a big shout-out to all my subscribers, to all my fellow Jersey heads, family, friends, fellow DeviantArt members, anyone I'm forgetting. And uh, I, I will have uh, another pickup video really soon, maybe within the week. I'm waiting on a Grail pickup. Um, I'm also hoping to get a another one of my top Grails into the fold. And um, you know, if, if that happens, I'll have another pickup vid coming up. So, um, anyhow, so be on the lookout for that. And again, big shouts to everyone. This is Mighty Fan saying peace from the Fan Cave, and I will see you. Now, all in the next video. Okay, everyone, take care.